lucky enough right now to be with Rob and his dog Kita. So Rob, you're a dog handler, you're involved in search and rescue. How is the dog a tool in a search and rescue? Yeah, so my name's Rob, uh, this is Kita. Um, the dog is quite an um, important part of search and rescue. She uses her nose to find where people have been or find people themselves. Excellent, so very useful in terms of finding people and I see there's some cool technology that you use. Yeah, so uh, this here is a radio antenna that is connected to a GPS collar and on that, um, that GPS it can send me her signal which comes onto a handheld device here that I can uh, see where she is if I need to. Most of the time she's with me though. Right. So in terms of a search and rescue, what are some of the things that might make it more challenging in terms of trying to get Kita onto the scent of someone? Yeah, so the main thing we need to do is get Kita's nose onto the start of a scent so that she can continue along the way there. Um, some of the challenges can be uh, like wind, the terrain, um, but the main thing is getting her near the start point of where someone's been, so that's, that's the challenging bit. And I guess the quicker you can do that, the easier it's going to be for Kita. Absolutely, yeah. Normally we try and put Kita where the most likely place where someone was last seen or likely to be. And it must involve a lot of training, not only of yourself, but of the dog too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Kita uh, started doing search and rescue about two years after doing her normal police work, and we did some more advanced tracking. She can uh, track reliably a 24-hour-old track in the bush if, it's, uh, if the conditions are right, but sometimes even longer than that. Right, and you don't always have the luxury of um, having someone to find, so what do you do in training? Uh, so we actually have people set up uh, tracks for us. We don't know where they go, uh, so it's from, up to me and the dog to try and work out where they've gone, and we do that quite regularly. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Keita in action this afternoon in our scenario, but um, keep up the good work, and thanks, Rob. Awesome. Thanks for having me.